forget about them. The civilization comes to an end because we realize those things in the end days before. But now, the churches, here we are, many churches. And so, looks like morals, spiritual life, and integrity, everything is going on. If I thought like that in 1973, there will not be a life by the But I mean that if you throw one stone in the undersea, the ripple effect will start there and there and there and now. There will be multiples of results. That's why. I thought of okay, many churches, look at morals, look at spirituality, look at everything. And we make a difference. That is what we need to understand. And we have deeper Christian like ministry, deeper than like church, you know, we have GCK, and now we're reaching more than 180 countries of the world. Now, but this to say we're going to have, we're going to transmit to more than 180 countries of the world, and everybody is waiting for one more show to let the light shine. Yeah. And set the light everywhere in the world. So we're not looking at you know things are like done, we're looking at who will rise up and Give us an awkward lift. And all of these uh, you know, churches, good ones, moderate ones, and struggling ones, everyone, we can have the power to raise them up. Don't condemn them, don't kill them, don't bury them alive. But now, I go beyond people alive and knock at all these churches. I don't insult them, I say, I'm a serious man. I have something you know, I want to give you that will bring your church alive. And I accept. And if we continue like that, by the grace of God, exponentially, what I mean by that is, this is interesting. If I ask you, I'm going to speak to you, I'm going to speak and those that are there, we have another to multiply. That's three, a two to point three, a two uh, to a degree of three. That's eight, and there, another two sixty, another two thousand and two, another two thousand and two. If you go on exponentially like that, all the ones that will say they are down, they are down, and say get up, get up, get up, there will be a resurrection. Thank you. 
the new desire to be and to do. In your life, for your family, for your community, and also for the nation. After the desire, desire to know what you want yet to be there. You might have heard of Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison was the person that God used to bring all these electric devices. He tried, he tried, he tried, he failed thousands and hundreds of times. But because of the desire and fear of something, among other to be something and do something, he kept on. The desire they brought number two is decision. Do you ever give decisions to your life? Of course, you decided that's what you did here. You decided that's what you chose your course. You decided that's what you stay in class. You decided that's what you do your homework. You decided that's why you do what you do. There is desire. The end on top of that desire is the decision. Now, decisions, well made decisions, and sometimes I make a decision, and then I have an entrance here and there. I must back up that decision with determination. Come what may, I must get something done. By the way, that word must, if my blessing is going to give to the youth, because I'm here for transformation. Yes. I'm going to give you the definition, the description, and the discernment of that word must. On Saturday, so I cannot do that now. On Saturday, the day, and you'll be surprised to how your life will turn. The things so far impossible in your life, days at a time, if I had to see you personally, I am determined that there must be success in the life of our youth. Desire, decision, determination. It's a, something that comes from the inside. You have road blocks, you have hindrances, you have quite a lot of things. And you might even have some senior people, authoritative people, telling you that you cannot make it. You're wasting your time here. But with determination, we will prove that. Get out of your way. 
the one that is not a devotee of anything, is not devoted to anything, dedicated to anything, he sees by and he says, you know, the difficulties the there. And after all, when you come out and pass out, there is no job. And since there is no job, why am I coming the midnight oil and doing all this? After all, there is no job. Who says there is no job? If there is none out there, rise up and make one. You can. That's how the inventors invented. They, you know, the, the people that invented the aeroplane, or even the car and everything. You know, they, they, what do you need to do? They saw that nobody is doing this, but I am there. Why am I here? If it is not there, I will make it. I said, if it is not there, you will make it. So, and now you're on your way to the destiny. Yeah. And you will be a destiny maker. Yeah. A destiny maker. Yeah. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? You must have something in your heart, in your mind, in your soul. And you carry that thing. You are pregnant with idea. And that idea must see the light of day. You must be birth for that thing. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, well, ah. And I'm asking Lord, everyone here today, I pray you will make the extraordinary out of the ordinary.
Je voudrais quand même m'afficher une photo de mon Et ça fait un peu de mon Dieu. À la fin de l'an, votre train, au Goumachor, Zoom, avec un peu de la femme de ça. À la fin de l'an, il y a un peu de Russie, il y a un peu de Russie, il y a un peu de Russie, il y a un peu de Russie.
the Lord will bless us mightily. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are trusting God that the Lord will bless us mightily. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every part of this book and place we pray for me. The Lord has a purpose for you. I appreciate all our team members. Uh, Center of Care for the team. Zona leaders. And every member will appreciate you. For your commitment, sacrifice, and God bless. Thanks and God bless you. So we thank the student extension of this uh, program. Uh, please just rise up. Uh, we will start innovation as we are further the Lord to the world. You don't know how to clap? Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. Please allow our Father and the Lord to go after that.